women go to great lengths to remove body hair, but for Victoria, that's almost a full-time job. My name is Victoria, I am 22 years old. I've been having an issue with excessive hair lately. This is what happens when I don't shave every day. I'm getting more and more hair around my face and in other parts of the body that women usually don't get. A doctor told me that my blood tests are normal, but this apparently is not. What's happening to me? We're here with Victoria and Dr. Katja Van Hurley, an endocrinologist who was intrigued by Victoria's problem and has actually evaluated Victoria. So great to have you here. Yes, great to be here. Thank you. And Dr. Van Hurley, I know you talked with Victoria and ran some tests, and what all did you figure out? Yes, we did. Victoria was nice enough to come to our, um, get our labs done that we wanted. You know, there's a lot of medical reasons that we see endocrine-wise this happens. This is a very common thing, Victoria, and we believe, based on your labs and the story you've told us, that this is polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS. Mm -hmm. PCOS, although the ovary term is in there, has little to do with the ovary. What it has to do with is excess testosterone. Mm -hmm. And we typically see this sometimes with irregular periods and things like that, and that's what brings women to me besides, you know, the, the, the hair growth. So the two of our specialties work together with our patients because of acne, irregular periods, sometimes infertility. Oftentimes you'll see weight gain or prediabetes in the long run. That's why what we want to do is diagnose it early. Get it now. Mm -hmm. We can treat this. This is something we really can help. Okay. And so let's talk through what, Victoria, anyone out there dealing with PCOS can do. First of all, the really important thing that we want to know is it is a syndrome. So even if you only have one symptom, go to see endocrine help. Get a doctor that can test your hormones. It may be that all you have is irregular periods. Maybe all you have is acne. Maybe just the hair. Get help by good testing. That's number one. Okay. Number two, medicines. This can be treated with medication. Are there any lifestyle changes for people who might be dealing with, with PCOS that helps as well? Well, just like you said, if it's associated with, with being overweight or prediabetes, obviously you can correct with weight loss is huge in this, but obviously you are tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Diet and exercise really mm -hmm. is key. Low carbohydrates, higher protein intake, don't gain the weight. That all makes this testosterone or androgen secretion higher. So by having the diagnosis now, in a way you're on your way to a recovery because you'll work together and figure out what hormones she needs to be taking replacement-wise and hopefully this problem will resolve, correct? We agree, and it's sometimes as simple as getting on the birth control pill. It's amazing. There are simple ways to get back to normal endocrine balance in your hormones. Thank you so much, Dr. Van Hurley. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks for sharing this yeah.